Greetings of peace, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta, welcoming you to another amazing inspiration uh, for Ramadan. And we are so lucky today to have our own Amin Tomei uh, give the inspiration. Amin is very well known around the Atlanta area and beyond. Um, he has been with the ISD for several years. He has been a board member and a philanthropist and uh, gives khutbas all around town. So we are so fortunate to have Amin with us. Amin? Assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. Thank you very, very much for this wonderful opportunity. Um, it's truly an honor to, uh, to be able to uh, speak to you uh, during these um, very challenging times and uh, inshallah, very opportune times for us to uh, continue growing and uh, bettering uh, ourselves, our communities, and everyone uh, that we come into contact with, inshallah. So uh, one of the uh, stories that, that has been uh, a source of inspiration and also as a source of personal challenge uh, to me over the years uh, has been the story of a great companion of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, namely the, um, um, uh, the amazing uh, Anas ibn Malik, uh, this great Sahabi or companion uh, joined the prophetic household at the tender age of 10 uh, when the Prophet migrated uh, to the city of Medina. Uh, Umm Sulaim, the mother of Anas ibn Malik, uh, took her son and placed him at the service of the Prophet. Uh, she told the Prophet that my son Anas is in both intelligent and he is literate. He knows how to read and write and uh, I would like to place him at the service uh, of, uh, of you, O Prophet. And so he stayed with him uh, from the tender age of nine or 10 and served for 10 years uh, at the uh, prophetic uh, household. Uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, made several supplications for Enes to have uh, uh, great wealth, to have lots of progeny and to live uh, a very long uh, life. Now this notable companion of the Prophet, was known also as a great muhaddith or a narrator of hadith stories and traditions of the Prophet uh, Some scholars and researchers uh, uh, notch up to 2,000 plus uh, worth of uh, narrations and hadith uh, specifically about how the Prophet's conduct was, how he dealt with people, how he treated people, what his manners and mannerisms were, uh, peace be upon him. Uh, on the day he died, uh, Anas ibn Malik, he was uh, in the city of Basra uh, in modern day Iraq uh, at the age of 93. And, um, uh, you know, throughout his life, he was present at all the major political and military milestones along the uh, Prophet. And he lived through the five uh, caliphs that came after the Prophet. Now, I tell you all of this uh, to tell you that this is no ordinary person. Uh, this was an amazingly accomplished person by any measure back 1400 years ago or even by today's measures uh, of what, is, uh, it mean, what does it mean to be successful. Uh, and so part of his upbringing is that challenge, that story that, that I often uh, remember. And it is when he was a young boy uh, in his early years of service at the Prophet's household, the Prophet sent him uh, on an errand. He said, go run uh, this specific errand for me. Uh, being the young person that he was, he became distracted. He saw, uh, you know, some children playing uh, by the side of the road, and he forgot all about what the prophet had asked him to do. And he rather went and, and uh, uh, hung out with those children and started playing. Then all of a sudden, he relates, he narrates himself. He said, I felt a presence uh, behind me. And when I turned around to look, it was none other than the prophet, peace be upon him, uh, with a smile on his face. So, so here we have, a, you know, the Prophet sending uh, Enes on a, an errand, on a task, and Enes didn't do it. Uh, the Prophet, uh, you know, wasn't, didn't have a frown on his face. Uh, uh, he wasn't upset. He wasn't mad. He, he didn't come wagging his finger at young Enes, telling him, uh, how dare you not do something that I've asked you to do, or why didn't you do it, uh, etc. No, he just simply asked uh, Enes in a very calm uh, manner, did you do what I asked you to do? And, and you know, feeling uh, embarrassed, he immediately said, uh, of course, uh, O Prophet, I am on my way to, to do it. Uh, and, and from that, uh, he further narrates, he said that within 10 years 
that I have served in the Prophet's household. I was never once asked by the Prophet, why have you done something a certain way? Or why did you abandon doing something a certain way? So to me, especially during these challenging times where we find ourselves uh, sheltering in place with our family members, with uh, sometimes extended family, uh, even interacting with co-workers in normal circumstances, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to let go of one's ego. It's a challenge to not want things to be done your way. Uh, it's a challenge to allow a person with whom you're interacting to, <clears throat> uh, to have that latitude and to have that space to interpret what you've asked them to do and to do it their own way. And in my opinion, that's how you build people up. That's how you uh, 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 inspire them and challenge them to grow. Rather than being afraid that I might need to satisfy the person, I am actually focused on the task at hand. Uh, and to me, uh, that's always been a source of, as I said, inspiration. It's also aspirational. It's something that I certainly uh, continue to struggle to uh, accomplish. And uh, inshallah, God willing, through these reminders, as we remind each other, uh, I hope that one day I would be able to rise up to that prophetic level, inshallah. And, and I ask uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of us uh, with wisdom and uh, with the ability to uh, build others around us rather than in any way or shape or form uh, harm them even with a word. Uh, with that, I thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity uh, to, uh, to speak to you today. And inshallah, uh, you will remain strong, remain uh, inspired, and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, reward all of you uh, with the greatest of rewards. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. I mean, thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful story and a beautiful reminder of how to build people around us. And that is especially uh, so timely because of how we are right now. We're sheltering in place and everybody's together in the same home and people can, could get on each other's nerves. So this is a beautiful reminder uh, that you bring to us. Uh, thank you again. And uh, we appreciate all the folks who are watching us on our, our YouTube channel. And uh, please subscribe to it and please think about supporting the ISB on our work at isbatlanta.org. Thank you again for being with us and have an amazing day. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you.